Oh, he's really for real. You can make money doing this. For a while, had an office, a website, newspaper articles, even had a book written about him. So what happened? Couldn't cope. The first thing that drew me was Clint. I mean, I you know, I, I'd do the phone book with the guy if he if he if he if he said, hey, I have a great idea. Um, but uh, but then reading the script, I just thought it was a beautifully put together piece. I got really choked up reading it. This you know, quest that this little boy goes on. It really, it's, he's like the heart of the film and he, he's lost his brother and, and, uh, and he's asked that question that we all ask when we lose someone suddenly. You know, where, where, where are they? Where'd they go? Even the, the casual visitor to, to, to Hollywood would see that there's a, there's a psychic on, on every corner. What is it about a particularly, like this doesn't happen in other countries so much. Like they're just everywhere. Um, why, why here in America? Uh, and why particularly there? I yeah. think you end up with uh, a lot of people who feel either disenfranchised in a way or insecure or wondering or in a, are, are pursuing a very unsure life of, you know, what's going to happen? Am I going to make it as an actor? And so I think psychics probably do some pretty good business out there. Um, you know, and the pretenders do some pretty good business out there um, because people are looking for some kind of help, I think. What would happen if there were like a bunch of psychics in Australia? I mean, seriously. Like just on the, you know, Alice Springs, like just sitting on the corner. I mean, how long do you think they'd last? Not, not very long. Not very long. You talked about uh, working with Clint before and uh, after you made Invictus you joked about how he likes to make a film. Um, what was he like working on this film, which is a very different movie? Yeah, he, he great. I mean, great. And he, he's just, he's so, you know, he's been making films for 60 years, so he's so just fluent in, in you know, in that language that he can just really make any kind of movie. And uh, this one had certain kind of particular requirements. I, mean, I think the, the most challenging part was probably the fact that, you know, t two of its stars were these little boys who, who didn't really have any experience. and. Um, and Clint, and, and those weren't easy roles. I mean, those were very, very challenging roles that the boys had. And, and, uh, and so watching him direct them was really instructive for me. Somebody asked me earlier, would I let my kids act? And, and if it were with this crowd, yeah. Uh, you know, there were a lot of parents on the crew. There were a lot of, uh, you know, there's no, it was a very, it's not a very Hollywoody scene, you know, working with this bunch. It's a, people who are very serious about making movies and, and very serious about protecting the kids too. You know, we, wanted, we made sure they had a good time and, and uh, that, uh, that they thought the whole experience was cool at the end of the day.